Italian giants in Inter Milan and AC Milan reveal they have picked a stunning cathedral design for their new 65,000 capacity stadium after more than two years of deliberations, with the ground set to be ready to replace the San Siro in 2027. AC Milan and Inter Milan have chosen a striking cathedral design for their new stadium, which will replace the iconic San Siro. The two European giants were presented with a number of options, but have opted to go with populist proposal, and the new ground is due to be nicknamed the Cathedral after being inspired by the Duomo Cathedral. Explaining what the two sets of supporters can expect when the stadium is built, a prospectus read, the Cathedral's bespoke seating bowl will be the most intimate in Europe, bringing fans closer to the action than ever before and creating an unforgettable atmosphere. The cathedral has been designed to create a unique home for the fans and supporters of AC Milan and Inter Milan with bespoke installations that dramatically change the appearance of the architecture and incorporate the club's unique identities into the building fabric. For Inter Milan, a cold viper of blue light wraps itself around the stadium, while for AC Milan, the vertical buttresses glow a smoldering red emanating from the depths of the building. Populous is the architecture firm behind London venues Wembley. Arsenal's Emirates Stadium and the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Inspired by two of Milan's most famous buildings, the Duomo di Milano and Gallery of Vittorio Emanuele, the new stadium will be set in a pedestrian-only area with over 110,000 square meters of green areas. A final project is expected to be presented in 2022, and the new ground is expected to have a capacity of around 65,000, a reduction from the current 80,000-seater arena which is also known as San Siro. The new San Siro will be the most beautiful stadium in the world for its strong identity and recognizability, said AC Milan President Paolo Scaroni. An attractive arena, accessible and sustainable for the city of Milan, that will facilitate the growth of the clubs and their global competitiveness. Images of the planned project show that the new stadium will be constructed adjacent to the current San Siro, while the old ground will be mostly demolished but remain part of the new stadium district. The San Siro first officially opened in 1926 and has hosted some of football's biggest matches, including World Cup matches, European Championship games, and the Champions League final. However, talks of it being demolished have gone on for some time, and both Milan clubs were given permission last year to put the wheels in motion for a new ground to be built. The venue will celebrate its 100th anniversary in 2026 when Milan hosts the Winter Olympics in February and March. It will then be knocked down and replaced by the new 65,000-seater stadium in 2027.